last few years I've been playing around with jet and wells after seeing some of the other YouTube people looking at stuff online about jet and wells. I just use a setup something like this. It's just a brass fitting. Allows you to hook it onto a garden hose, a couple 90s, half inch PVC. And then this is about a six foot piece. Hook it up to the garden hose. Stick the stick the end in the ground. Using the water pressure, it'll basically erode its way into the ground. This one you're looking at here, it's about uh, about 18 feet in, and I've had it running like <laughs> I've had it running like this for about two hours. I know it's not going to be any kind of a gusher, but if you wanted some water for some situation, you could probably get by with something like this, at least for a few people anyway. And I got some additions on here to make it a little bit more usable. Right now, just the water spurting out the top like that is not very usable. You, it's not real easy to catch it. It all falls back down in the hole. So I went to the hardware store and got a few more pieces. Now as you can see I got basically what I got is a half inch to one inch bushing that I drilled out the stop on the bushing so that I could s the pipe the uh, half inch would just slip right through. Normally the bushing has a stop in it that keeps you from inserting it too deep. Then I just got a, a one by one by half inch T. Got about a seven inch piece of one inch coming out the top just basically to give it a a place for that burst of water to splash into and then it runs down the side and some of it goes back down into the half inch pipe the rest of it uh, runs down on the outside and then goes out the 90 degree portion of the T and just to show that you actually can use it I've got it going into a bucket And what makes it all happen? That blue line going in the top is compressed air. I've got this quarter inch poly line hooked up to my air compressor. That's what we I got it set to about 25 psi, and what happens is a bubble forms in the bottom of the, of the sleeve of the half inch pipe. And once the bubble gets uh, enough where it can lift the water, then it lifts the water up out of the top of the tube and it comes squirting out in a surge. And the cycle keeps going and going and going as long as you have compressed air. And I know it's unlikely that you'd not have water and electricity at the same time, but more than anything I just I wanted to test to see what kind of uh, water level I have in my yard here. Maybe I'll hook up a pitcher pump or something like that. Something similar to sustenance and coverings. I like his setup a lot. Maybe I can just have a hand pump on here. If I need a bucket of water for something I can come down and grab it.
I'll probably do a video on how I jet a well. I'll maybe do that next one. It's not so darn windy. Thanks.